the local music enthusiast has taken his passion for guitars to a new space on Madison Avenue in Mankato. Logan Burns sees the potential in even the oldest of guitars, and he hopes Rock Bottom Guitar Works serves as a local resource for our music community to keep on strumming for years to come. Before you really start making any major adjustments, whether in the neck or down here at the bridge, we want to make sure that it's going to be in tune for where it's going to live so that we have so we have a good amount of proper tension on it so that we know how the guitar is going to react. I started tinkering with guitars, started playing with guitars probably 30, 35 years ago. Um, my very first one is hanging up on the wall and cut it in half, did all sorts of stuff to it, um, to my parents' chagrin of course. Um, but I've always, I've always been curious about it and I never stopped getting curious about these guys and what the possibilities are. This is technically my third shop. Uh, first one I ever had was in my wife and I first, our first house in Lower North. Had a shop down there and then where we live now, I've had a shop down there for, let's see, since 2005. And I've just outgrown the house. Opportunity started to show up. One of my favorite quotes, and I usually paraphrase it, but it was uh, Benjamin Franklin where he talks about Imagine if people jumped at opportunity half as fast as they jumped to conclusions. This space came to my attention because the financial firm I work with, we were looking at the office space just upstairs. And then it kind of said there's space in the lower level. There's two main components to kind of the business plan. There's one, that's the repair side. This was a trade from a friend, so it was had some different electronics in it, but I'm going back to what would have been kind of stock. Then we just get stuff here, we put the solder on it, and we get get going. And even if it's not broken, there are things we can do to instruments to kind of upgrade them, to better suit them to their owners, if they can play better. Because if you're struggling with an instrument, you don't want to play it. And I looked at the repair side kind of almost as a buffer from the internet because you can send things to be repaired online and things like that, but you have to pay shipping. But also too, I wanted to establish an even stronger sense of roots in the community by further serving the community like I have for the past 20 plus years. So the other side is I'm always on the hunt. This thing is, is just meant for it's meant for metal, that's what it's really good at. But uh, when I picked it up, it was an absolute mess. It had like green iridescent paint all over it and that sort of thing. I'm always shopping for either orphans or abandoned instruments or, um, you know, half of these guitars, whenever I got them, they had nothing in them, no electronics, no nothing. So let's get them going again and let's figure out what can they still do and sometimes they stay with me and sometimes we find them new homes. Along with what I'm doing and uh, another friend of mine, uh, Ben Williams down at Hogback Guitars, we just want to make sure that when those artists are out there doing their thing that their instrument is everything it can be to help them become everything they can be. Yeah, this belongs to a pastor friend of mine so we'll get that one back in service. Now you can find Rock Bottom Guitar Works at 1055 and a half Madison Avenue in Mankato. Well, still ahead on